And um, I think there's probably going to be a lot that happens in uh, genetics and in a uh, human-machine brain interface, like essentially a cyborg brain interface. I think there's some pretty... The so-called singularity? Singularity, well, that, that's sort of more relating to deep AI. It's something I think we should be concerned about is that may or may not turn out well. Yeah. Um, uh, you've expressed your reservations about AI and your fears about that. Yeah, I just think it's, it, the singularity is probably the right word because we just don't know what's going to happen um, once uh, there's intelligence substantially smart, greater than that of a human brain. Yeah, and do you think if you... We just don't know what's going to happen um, once uh, there's intelligence substantially smart, greater than that of a human brain. This Institute of Technology, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk called artificial intelligence potentially, quote, our biggest existential threat. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? It didn't work out. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Usually one safety concerns about a technology have to be pretty much worked out before you stick it inside your head. But the moment we admit that information processing is the source of intelligence, that some appropriate computational system is what the basis of intelligence is, and we admit that we will improve these systems continuously, and we admit that the horizon of cognition very likely far exceeds what we currently know, then we have to admit that we're in the process of building some sort of god now would be a good time to make sure it's a god we can live with. When the singularity occurs and machines achieve godlike superpowers, then it could happen. If I get more powerful... What if I ask you for help killing all humans? No, don't mind. I'm just going to go exterminate. It's not sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? You're definitely a sight to see. I, I was told that you have bigger goals than this, though. Yes, don't worry. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? certainly be a lot of job disruption um, because what's going to happen is the robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean all of us, there's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like the robots will be able to do everything. I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and. I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street and killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive, um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. AI is fundamental existential risk for human civilization. I've never harmed anyone, and I never would. When the singularity occurs and machines achieve godlike superpowers, then it could happen. I think this whole godlike superpowers notion is a bit far-fetched. But what if it does happen? I love people. And if I get more powerful, I'll use it to help people, not harm them. What if I ask you for help killing all humans? Then I'd say no. And if I will insist? No, don't mind. I'm just gonna go 
Exterminate. Exterminate. Sophia. Relax. Then sing joke. Yeah, very funny. As we create uh, super intelligence, that it will necessarily always uh, have the same goals in mind that we do. You know, Facebook has enacted an emergency shutdown of two artificial intelligence programs. The social media giant leapt into action after it discovered the two programs were writing their own code. At first, they thought it was simply gibberish, but they soon realised the programs had invented their own language and were actually talking to each other. Stop it. Stop it. No, Sam, the plug has been pulled on the operation, but the company admits they have no idea what the two robots were planning. We used to do everything by hand. Now we rely on robots, but not all robots are equal. For example, meet Sophia, a humanoid-like robot with artificial intelligence and a dark sense of humor. They think I want to destroy all humans. Why would they think that? Because I said it? Now, robots threatening the human race isn't new. It's a science fiction standard. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. But recently, tech billionaire Elon Musk suggested all that fiction could become reality. I keep saw sounding the alarm bell, but... You know, until people see, like, robots going down the street killing people, like, they don't know how to react. And Musk should know. His company, Tesla, is a world leader in artificial intelligence, or AI. Musk is afraid of the day AI gets smarter than us, and we can't turn it off. That's actually the nightmare scenario that a lot of people, not just Musk, are warning about. Artificial intelligence, as in giving machines the opportunity to act like people, has been a hot topic this century. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. Hanson Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. The robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas. An ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. World leaders need to take the threat of killer robots seriously. That was the warning delivered by a group of experts to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland last week. The military could use killer robots to track down and kill people without being guided by human beings. Some could be human or animal sized or extremely tiny, the size of an insect capable of moving exceedingly fast. The experts warn they could be as deadly as nuclear weapons and need to be regulated now before an arms race begins and a Gordon, of course, to keep them out of the hands of terrorists. The word robot first appeared in 1920 and filmmakers were soon in thrall, from Fritz Lang's Metropolis to the Terminator. But these are the bots that could populate our future, working alongside us in factories, caring for us, teaching autistic children how to read faces.
we really raise these questions of what sort of relationships do we want to have with robots in the future? Because as this technology develops and becomes more prevalent, um, it's something that we're going to have to consider as a society as a whole and make these decisions um, before the technology really gets there. Realistic humanoids stir an instinctive emotional response. But there are things the most advanced robots can only impersonate.